Hi Scorpio, what is up? Whoa, what is up? Two of Swords came up. You are in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two of Swords and Two of Wands. You're making decisions here. Choices, choices, choices. Good. Scorpio making it. Guess what? Ace of Swords is coming in. And that is what? A gift from the universe to make you help you. To help you make this choice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Keep your thoughts flowing that way. You don't have any stagnancy blocking whatever's trying to come in um, into your crown chakra to tell you, to guide you. Four of Cups. Because you see what happens? Four of Cups is when um, you do get a download or you know you do get a sign and you're sitting there and you're like oh no i don't know probably not for me or because you start doubting right you start overthinking six of cups is the past coming back but you start overthinking and then you miss opportunities you don't act on them because you're just in um in your head yeah overthinking is no bueno knight of cups coming in but look at that seven of wands you don't want to hear it you're um you're in defense mode what's happening what you don't want to hear it you don't want to take it what is going on scorpio 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 let's see let's see what we can do about this this is for my oh my god i didn't even get in the intro this is for my sun moon <laughs> rising in venus um do i watch my Saturn? And that's a hard yes. Do I watch my Mars? Yes. So please don't get attached to just your sun sign. You guys, we have so many charts and the Vedic astrology. Uh, what else? Please don't get attached to gender on the cards. We have both masculine and feminine energies. And yes, if it's not January 2021, don't worry about it your angels and your spirit guides guided you here because there's a message for you so let's head it off thank you let's see what my scorpios need to know for january nine of cups you guys solid single loving it inner love just confidence overflowing 10 would be the ultimate family right but this is this is you you don't need any this is when you don't you're not looking for anything external anymore to for, uh, to fill your cup you're able to fill your own cup this is gorgeous energy five of swords though <laughs> um it's like the war is uh, you know over but at what cost right it's like there's no victory here so um fight internal but fives are also change so change is oh my god as soon as i said change the tower is here but guess what i love this card because what happens after a tower new beginnings right you get to rebuild throw away the old stones and just start from ground up building 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 well i know everyone's wondering let's uh <laughs> Let's see what this tower is about because i don't think anyone's like yeah let's talk about uh inner love right now let's see hey man guys before we even start what do i always say if you're stagnant if you're not making choices and like i was saying earlier if the universe is sending you signs and giving you uh, making that you do it this make it this do a decision <laughs> make a decision and you're hesitating the universe will come in and make that decision for you that's what the tower does stand for. It's unexpected things happening in your life, right? And Hangman is here. The moon is under. The moon is what subconscious uh, thoughts, ideas, feelings. And it's also a crossroad. A lot of you have to make a choice, be left or right. But you cannot stay, uh, stay here, right? It's a stagnant card nine of wands eight of swords death card there you are scorpio so there i'm not even worried you're gonna go through the lessons and there's a rebirth and that's as soon as i said rebirth ace of wands is here passionate new beginnings you know 
I think anyone who watches Sierra knows what this card is. It is Two of Cups Soulmate coming in. When? When the when? After the rebirth. And you know rebirth is not, it's not easy, Scorpio. It's not easy. Yes, for you, it's easy. You're a Scorpio, right? But you know what I'm saying. Nine of Pentacles is here. We just saw Nine of Cups. Here's you. And oh my God, gorgeous. Double confirmation. Seven of um, Pentacles. King of Cups. Oh my gosh, there you are again. Um, Ace of Ace of Swords. Judgment. Oh my God, you guys. This is a this is a crazy, gorgeous reading. Overall energy is judgment. Once again, this whole reading, whoever needs to hear this, is about choices, about the past. Judgment is having a second chance or um making a final call right and we keep seeing all these twos all this stagnancy someone is not making a just a decision and it, you're in your head about it eight of swords what are eight of swords it's um self-inflicted um energy it's uh it's thinking oh my god i can't get out of this i can there's no way out but guess what she can just walk out she's not even bound but her head, her thoughts are keeping her bound. It's an illusion. Some of you are in an illusion right now of, oh, I can't move on, I can't do this. But guess what? You're at nine of pentacles. You're in your garden, you're reaping the rewards, but you are not seeing it. So here comes the tower, breakup, right? Whatever happened. And now you're just there. Uh, it looks, it feels like to me, a lot of you are just there looking at what perspired, defense mode, and in your head, right? What nine of wands is someone who's been through it, who has all the lessons, right? So you have all the lessons. You, the wand is coming. The passion is here. Passion and new beginning is here. Yet you, what happens? Passion, you can't do anything about passion when you're stuck in your head. So a lot of you need to stop looking at the past. You have to learn lessons, but you can't you cannot live in the past cuz that's going to keep you in your head and then you're not living, right? Then you are just um feeding your ego mind. Uh death is here. It could be death of anything, an idea, a belief that doesn't serve you anymore death of a cycle a toxic cycle cycle maybe that you were uh, putting someone in it doesn't matter what it is but right now you need to take this time out that you're taking and not in vain you need to look at this tower not live in it you need to look at it and you have to start learning lessons because only through lessons is there a rebirth when um when you get a line you guys Two of Cups is not only a soulmate card, it's um, getting aligned with your higher self. And when, how do you get aligned? You meditate, you go within, you work on yourself. Nine of Pentacles is here, but also seven is here. So a lot of you still need to put in the work, inner work. You cannot, you guys, you cannot get to the niner if you're not doing the seven, the eight. You have to go within. And you have to align yourself with your higher self, your soul. That way you can have a rebirth. And guess what? Once the universe sees all this work that you've done, it's sending you gifts, passionate new beginnings, clarity in a situation, and a king of um, uh, cups. <laughs> cups. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. But you guys, you need to the universe is not gonna even though they are in that the universe is not gonna give you clarity as a gift when you're unwilling to take the blindfold off so the work needs to be done on your end as well and you cannot grasp this one when you can't see right so you have to put in the work and you, you guys judgment is here whatever needs to be uh, you know a curtain call there has to be a curtain call on something. You cannot be in stagnant and expect these gifts from the universe. Let's see what this um, death card for my Scorpio, please. Death card for my Scorpio. 
the hangman fell out again. Seven of swords. You guys, are we collecting swords? Are we a sword collector? You got seven of swords. You got eight of swords. You are keeping yourself stagnant with these uh, thoughts, self-deception, whatever. Th you're lying to yourself about something. You guys, both of these cards are just illusionary problems, ideas that you that are keeping you from your independence, from your power, from your soulmate. And they're here, but you're keeping yourself stuck. And it's hard to hear, you guys. It's hard to hear. But this is what happens when we allow the ego mind to take over. Because guess what? Look. Look what's underneath. Summon of Swords. A um, Ace of Cups. Self-love. And you be You guys, come on now. Are you serious? You guys, when... You guys, these tower moments are a blessing in disguise. And a lot of you are not yet able to accept it, realize it, and appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry about that. My camera got turned off. But you guys will take that as a confirmation and a sign from the universe that whoever this resonates with, whoever just resonates with this reading, you guys, you not only have to accept that this happened, that this occurred in your past, or is occurring now you have to accept it and the final step is gratitude you guys need to appreciate it you need to vibrate so high in gratitude that you can already feel this soulmate connection in your aura in your life in your reality in your universe you need to feel independent you need to be loving you need to fill your own cup and that's what's going to bring it in gratitude thank you gratitude you need to see this take this blindfold off replace take these wands down take the lessons open up your heart this is also your you could be blocking your heart a lot of you and what happens when you block your heart with these deceptive thoughts the this cannot come in right the universe won't be able to bring this in for you so please, please, please do um, gratitude meditations that will open up your heart, raise your vibrations. And that, that way you can welcome this and bring this in. Because the universe is saying it's here. You just need to take your blindfold and see it. Whew. Thank you so much, Scorpios. If this resonated, I hope it did. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell. We have fun here, but most importantly, we elevate and we expand our consciousness. Thank you so much, Scorpios and Crosswatchers. <laughs> Namaste.